My name is Albert Wesker. I aspired to become a leading researcher at Umbrella Inc., a pharmaceutical enterprise who covertly conducted bioorganic weapons, better known as BOW, for development. But at the leader development training ground situated in Raccoon City, I met a brilliant and talented researcher who made me decide to take a different path. William Birkin. In time, I shifted my position to STARS, a special forces unit of the Raccoon Police Department. Umbrella for crisis management reasons of their illegal bioorganic weapons development had many of its people working in the police department. I became the leader of STARS and conducted all sorts of intelligence activities for Umbrella. As I continued to serve, I devised my own plans and waited for the right moment to execute them. Then at last, Opportunity knocked. The freak murder incident that occurred in a forest near the mansion started it all. The mansion was Umbrella's secret bow laboratory, and it was clear that the in-development T-virus was the cause of the murder. Initially, Umbrella instructed me secretively to keep Stars out of the case, but with the heightened emotions of the citizens, Stars had no choice but to move in. That's when my next order was given. Dispatch Stars to the mansion, dispose of them, then report the situation to headquarters so that their combat with the bow could be used for data analysis allowing Umbrella a comprehensive portrait of the BOW's combat abilities. From the two STARS teams, I first pitched in the Bravo team. As expected, the top elite of STARS gave all they had and became useful sample data. Then following, I geared up the Alpha team to search and rescue the lost Bravo team. The members of the Alpha team also proved their worth. And as expected, many died. There were five survivors from the initial 11 STARS members. From the Alpha team were Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, and Barry Burton. And from the Bravo team were Rebecca Chambers and Enrico Marini. I don't know what happened. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. time to begin executing my plans. In the midst of the whole affair, I could take Umbrella's ultimate bioorganic weapon, the Tyrant, and join forces with an opposing corporation of Umbrella. To buy into that opposing corporation, I would need the actual combat data of the Tyrant. The surviving privileged members of STARS were just the perfect bait. I decided to have one of them play the Judas and draw them to the tyrant. That Judas was Barry. Barry! Barry was the strong truth and justice kind and cherished his family more than anything. His type is easy to manipulate. I simply took that most important thing away from him. My only miscalculation was the high potential of Chris and Jill. But with the family man, Barry, playing the Judas, the scheme went as planned. Then the winds turned oh, unexpectedly. Jill. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Listen, the stars are going to be finished soon. Someone is a traitor. 
Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ah! I had to eliminate Enrico, who found out what was behind it all. I used Barry to get to him. Enrico! After I successfully got rid of that nuisance, I awaited the sample specimen that Barry would bring to me in the tyrant's room. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. I injected the virus I obtained from Birkin in advance. If I made Umbrella believe I was dead, it made it far more convenient to sell myself to the opposing corporation. According to Birkin, the virus had profound effects. It would put my body in a state of temporary death. It would then bring me back to life with superhuman powers. Therefore, I unleashed an awesome tyrant from its slumber and let it attack me. What? Don't come this way! No! As my consciousness faded away, I was certain that the whole scheme would end in success. Never did I imagine that stars could slay the evil creation. I lost the tyrant, and the plan I devised, which cost me my humanity, ended in failure. Now, anyone or anything that stood in my way would be terminated. It has been that way for a long time, and it always will be. At all costs, I had to make stars pay. Two months had passed since the mansion incident. To regain everything that I had lost in my new organization, I joined hands with Ada Wong, a female agent who was also sent to spy on Umbrella. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong? Ada Wong? I've heard that name before. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? I knew in my bones that the key developer was William Birkin. But what he didn't know was that Umbrella did not play games with no anyone. Ever take you away Eventually, Birkin would be assassinated, and the G-Virus would be in the hands of Umbrella. There he is. So you finally come. The G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. But the salvage team led by Hunk was ahead of us. By the time they got to Birkin, he had already injected himself with the G-Virus. 
He became his own creation and decimated them. Roger. What is this thing? spread throughout Raccoon City, and Umbrella faced its worst scenario. The good citizens became zombies, and the city had headed for its devastating fate. Humans were no match against zombies. a new type bow called Nemesis. The Nemesis would hunt down and destroy the surviving member of STARS, Jill. It became imperative that our organization also obtain the Nemesis data. Umbrella jettisoned a tyrant to take care of Leon and Claire, who were trying to unveil their secrets. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Then a new revelation. Birkin used to hide the findings of his studies in his daughter Sherry's pendant. It was very possible that the G-Virus was there. While Umbrella was busy with their cover-up, we had to capture Sherry before they did. I sent Ada undercover to seek the location of Sherry. I, the dead man on the other hand, had to work in the shadows. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid! A spy's obligation and priority is in the mission, to carry out the mission like a machine without any emotional interference. Ada! Ada! Can you hear me? But through her interaction and involvement with Leon S. Kennedy, there had been an affection growing inside her. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. 
But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. My instincts sense danger. Something had to be done. Quickly. Leon. My instincts did not disappoint me. I've been waiting for you, Leon. So just hand over the G-Virus. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen! Even though Ada almost had her hands on the G-Virus, which Leon acquired from Sherry, that affection Ada. of hers drove her to her death. Don't give up! Goodbye. But she was still of some use. Ada! I had to save her life. So... This is what everyone's been dying for. My people hurried to retrieve the G-Virus that Leon threw away. Alpha team here. Mission accomplished. Roger. We'll rendezvous at the meeting point. But Hunk, the only survivor of Umbrella's salvage team, was there before us. left was to bring back Bert the monster as the sample specimen and have him finish off Leon and Claire in order to obtain his combat data. Here. Use this. Game over. Although Birkin lost the battle to Leon and Claire, we succeeded in gathering samples of the G-Virus from his dead body. was a close one. That was pretty impressive back there, Sherry. It was nothing. I saw someone do that on TV once. Come on. We've got to move out. Now what's the problem? Is something following us? Hey, we still have a job to do. Let's go. Go? Oh, you can't mean. Chris, I have to find you. It's here! In the morning, the government bombed Raccoon City in an attempt to stop further viral outbreak. This was, of course, their feigned reason. Claire left for Europe to find her lost brother, Chris. 
and Leon joined forces with an underground anti-umbrella organization. Sherry is safe in our hands. I would never underestimate Birkin. There's something about this little girl.